Uh, greetings, greetings, fellow grade 11s. It's Mr. Shachari here. Welcome to Back to Basics. Now, what we are doing today, we are looking at our sine, cosine, and area rule, right? So basically, we are trying to find out in terms of how do we, you know, apply these particular rules, you know, using different past papers. So uh, we are looking at this particular question, which is from Eastern Cape. This was written in the Eastern Cape province the year 2022 November, right? Now, let's see in terms of how can we go about in solving this question. Now, the question states that they require us to start a diagram below and then answer the questions fully, right? Or the questions that follow. Now, you are given that your angle uh, TQR is 90 degrees, QSP is 40 degrees, and your QS, uh, or rather uh, SRP is 29, while your QS uh, is equals to 30 meters and your SR is 10 meters, which is also, you are also given that you're having TQP, which is your theta, right? Now, uh, they want us to find out what is going to be the reason why our angle P1, right? So they want us to find out why it is going to be our angle P1, which is equals to 20, uh, which is equals to 11 degrees rather, right? So they want us to find out what it's going to be your angle 1P, uh, rather, uh, 11 degrees. Now, the best thing of doing this, you are going to say, look, uh, now, can you see that this angle here uh, is going to be equal to the sum of the interior angles? Oh, it's again. So, which means now, uh, if you add P1, angle P1 plus your angle R, right, or your S, uh, your PSR, rather, your P, your PRS, now, this must give you your 40 degrees. The reason here, it's going to be the exterior angle of a what? Of a triangle, right? Of a triangle. So that's going to be the reason why we are saying that. So your angle P1 is equal to, uh, you know, uh, 11 degrees because it's an exterior angle of a what? Of a triangle. Are we fine? So which means now we must write that this is going to be equal to 11 degrees. Now, they want us to find out what is going to be the length of your PS your PS, right? Now, what is it that you are going to do to apply now to find out your length of your PS, right? The easier thing that we do, now we can apply our sign rule. And remember from our sign rule, we are saying in order for you to apply your sign rule, you must have the angle and the corresponding side. Uh, and you are also required to have what? You are also required to have the unknown side PS with its corresponding angle. I would say as long as you can have a angle and a, uh, a, a corresponding side, and you also have an angle, and then you lack one corresponding side, then you are, or rather you can apply your what your sign rule. So what is it that you're going to do now from here? You're going to say PS uh, divide by, what is the corresponding opposite side? It's going to be your what your sign of your 29 degrees, uh, which is going to be same as, uh, this is PS, and then now, which is going to be same as your SR over your sine of what? This is SR over your sine of 11 degrees. Oh, it's okay. So basically, that is going to be that. Now, which means your PS is what you are looking for. Uh, divide by. So this is going to be divided by sine of 29 degrees, which is going to be same as 10 over sine of 11 degrees. Now, when you cross multiply here, your PS, you realize that it's going to be actually 10 sine of 29 degrees. This is going to be divided by sine 11 degrees. Oh, it's okay. So basically, that is going to be that. And now, uh, if you are writing the units here, what is it that you're going to have? This is same as 25 comma, uh, what, 25 comma 41 meters. Oh, it's okay. So that is going to be your value of your PS, right? That's going to be the value of your PS, right? So basically, that's going to be that. Now, if you look at your, uh, now your question, your last question, which is going to be your 7.3. So we are saying your PS is 25. Uh, it's 25,41 meters, right? It's 25,41 meters. Now, let's look at the last question in terms of what is it that we are required to calculate here. Now, let's remove all this here. Now, in the, last, uh, in the last question, they say, determine the value of your theta to the correct or to the nearest degree. 
they want us to find out what is going to be the value of your theta. Now, uh, now what is it that you can do to find out your value of your theta? Now, let's start here. So we are going to say, if you can look at your theta, now your theta and your Q1 have close relation because starting from theta to your Q1, it forms a 90 degree, right? Here you are going to have, uh, what? You are going to have your 90 degree here, which means now, uh, as soon as you can find your angle Q1, you can find out what is going to be your angle theta, right? So now what is the first thing that you can do now from here? You can say, all right, now in finding our, uh, all right, in finding our PQ, let's start by finding our PQ. What is the first thing that you can do now? Uh, now we are going to say, we are going to apply your, what you can apply either, right? Uh, here you can uh, apply your, what you can apply your cosine rule because according to cosine rule, you must have side, side and the corresponding angle, right? You must have these, which is the side here, the side here and an angle in between, which you indeed you have, you have the, uh, the side here, you have the side here and the angle in between. So what is it that you're going to do? You're going to say, look, my PQ, my PQ is going to be same as sine of, uh, this is going to be, uh, not rather sine, but because we are applying the cosine rule, it's going to be PQ squared is going to be same as PS squared, PS squared plus uh, QS squared, uh, subtract 2 into bracket PS, multiply by QS, uh, then this is going to be uh, your, what, your cos of your uh, PSQ, right? Your cos of your PSQ, uh, your PSQ. Then now what else then now you are going to have here? Now yeah, what is it that you are going to have for PS? This is going to be same as 30 squared plus this is going to be same as 24,41, 25,41 rather, 25,41 squared, subtract 2 into, uh, this is going to be 30, multiply by 25,41, and then this is going to be cos of, and uh, now this is cos of your 40 degrees, this is cos of your 40 degrees, and now, uh, as soon as you have that, now you can plug this in your calculator, right? Uh, and when you plug this in your calculator and then you find out the square root, let's see what is it that you're going to have. So you are going to find out that your value of your PQ, your PQ is going to be same as 19,44 meters, right? Your PQ here is going to be same as 19,44 meters. So basically that is going to be your PQ. Oh, it's okay. And now that you have your PQ, now that you have your PQ, now we can, uh, you know, find out what is going to be your angle Q1, right? Because now you have your what? You have a side, uh, you have your corresponding opposite angle. Uh, you are looking for what? You are looking for the side, or rather you are, you are looking for the angle, but you are also having the what? The corresponding opposite side. Oh, it's okay. So which means here you are going to apply your sign rule. You are going to say, look, my sign, uh, now because, yes, my sign of P, Right, my sine of P, or rather Q1, uh, my sine of Q1 is going to be same as what? Uh, sine Q1, uh, it's going to be divided by what? It's sine Q1 over your PS, which is equals to uh, your sine of what? Your sine of your PS, uh, Q, this is PS, uh, Q over, then now this is going to be what? Uh, then this is going to be divided by what? This is going to be divided by your, your what? What is it that you are having? Uh, your PQ, rather. Yes, it's going to be your PQ. So now, and from here, what is it that you are going to have now from here? Let's see. So you are going to say here, this is your sign of your Q. Uh, if you are looking at your sign of your Q1, this is sign of Q1 uh, over what is going to be this one, your PS. Your PS, we found out that it was 25 comma. 25,41 is equals to what is going to be the corresponding side. Uh, now, this is going to be your sine of your uh, 40 degrees. Divide by what is going to be your PQ is 19,44, right? It's 19,44. Then when you cross multiply, which means your sine of your Q1 uh, is going to be same as 25,41 sine 40 degrees. Divide by 19,44. 
And then now you are going to realize that your Q1 that you're going to find when you plug in your calculator and then you say shift fact, it's going to be 57, 106 degrees, right? So which means the angle here is 57, 106 degrees. Oh, it's again. Now to find out your theta, what is it that you are going to do? Now we are going to say 90 degrees subtract 57, 106 degrees. What is it that you are going to have here? Right? When you plug in your calculator, let's see. So, which means now when you plug this in your calculator, you're going to have 32,84 degrees. Oh, it's okay. Now, so that's going to be your angle of your uh, theta that you are going to find here. Oh, it's okay. Now, hopefully now you can be in a position to, you know, work with this particular question and, you know, know what you are required to do whenever so you are solving these types of question. Thank you very much.